phosphatidylcholine. I can't believe I can even say that. What is phosphatidylcholine? How do you use it? What are the benefits? And should you be taking it? That and so much more today as I talk with Dr. Neil Pulvin, a very well-respected functional medicine doctor. Are you ready for it? All the phosphatidylcholine answers and questions that you have. Phosphatidylcholine, say that three times fast. That and so much more. You ready for it? Let's dive in. Phosphatidylcholine, PC. I think I said that correct. Man, that is a long word, Dr. Pulvin. It's definitely a long word. Hey, you go, you're paying all this money for med school. We got to come up with these words that not everybody can pronounce and make us sound smart and uh, <laughs> look like we know what we're talking about. Otherwise, it'd be much easier. <laughs> I like that. You just can't say PC or, or keep it simple. All right, what what is phosphatidylcholine? And now I'm going to say PC for now on. Sure. Yeah, PC or phosphatidylcholine is. It's part of your your membrane, your cell. It, it's um, it's kind the way they explain it, it's kind of like your fence around your cells, um, and it's part of that that outside fence. It helps keep things in, but also will, in most cases will keep things in, but also selectively let things go in and out that your body needs. Mm -hmm. um, it's also part of the brain, the brain, the covering of the brain and, and, and the layer within the brain cells themselves, um, and your brain will need that for development as you're a child, as we eat certain foods. And as you get older, um, we use it for it can you it helps with energy. It helps it, um, nerve development. So patients who unfortunately have some type of neuropathy, we can give phosphatidylcholine. It helps. It helps with patients with either brain fog or brain issues, but also can help. Some people are now using it who are quote unquote biohackers to see if it can augment their brain function. Uh, so a lot of different th pieces, but it's really kind of the the fence. Uh, and one of the building blocks of a lot the cells throughout the body, including the nerves and the brain, muscle, things like that. Okay, so when somebody starts taking this, you know, what's generally the, the time frame when they start? Like, I mean, if if your cells are working better and nerves are communicating better, you know, what's the time frame when they start kind of either well, probably feeling the benefits, correct? If you take if you're generally healthy, pretty quickly. I mean, it's not it's it's one compared to some of the other things we talked about. It's not one of those ooh moments mm -hmm. and kind of other stuff that we talked about like ketones or methylene blue which you're going to pretty much feel pretty quickly that same within a couple of minutes or an hour or so this is kind of a much more slow one or you're going to be like, okay i feel a little bit it's more for general health and more for just to kind of keep things going you kind of need those, those foundation type things if you have a problem if you have again if there's some brain issue or a, a, a numbness then you'll notice it lot quicker again but probably about two to four weeks it's not it's not one of those things that just automatically snaps in okay now you mentioned a bunch of benefits i mean what's really the the, the main thing that people are going to be taking this for general healthy people are taking it to because we've now kind of gone into what they call either cellular or metabolic health is kind of the core is why a lot of people are taking like coq10 now or alpha lipoic acid or um product called spermidine, um, you're, you're concentrating on, you want your cell to A to be healthy and then be able to recycle everything in our body recycles. You want to get rid of the bad stuff and then develop a new one. Um, so it's, again, it's more foundational that people are doing it now is why people take fish oil, same thing. It, well, fish oil is not the best example, but it's, it definitely helps to build things up, make sure things are healthy because unless you're getting enough from your diet, which most people aren't, you're going to be deficient. The cells don't work, work as efficiently. The cells don't work as efficiently. The nerves don't work as efficiently. And you just kind of slug. It's like adding oil to why you add oil to your car or to make things work better. Is there a, is a certain amount? Is I know a lot of things, right? You, you, you ramp up and then some people when they're going in to see you on their IVs, you're, out, you're obviously able to monitor them at a higher dose. Is there a certain amount that people should be taking each day? It depends on the pro The products are so diverse at this point. I mean, a lot of people are taking maybe... 100 milligrams a lot of the products i mean the the, the product that's kind of taken um kind of the big has the big uh, share in the market is what's called body bio mm -hmm. um they have different versions of it in liquid or um is a pill i take it usually as a pill um it's very low like i think it's like 100 milligrams off the top of my head mm -hmm. uh i mean it's and it's pretty steady it's not something where you have to um titrate the dose mm -hmm. or anything like that the only time we're titrating the dose really is if we're doing the IV, um, but that's mostly for, again, for patients with chronic illness, but otherwise it's a pretty steady dose. 
Okay. Uh, and you, you work again, you usually notice something two to four weeks in. Okay. And this is pretty safe. The only issue would be, yeah, the only reason it's not safe would be is sourcing. So if you use a reputable product, then there's really, it's a really nice, easy product that you'll notice something a little, at least a little something with and very minimal side effects, very minimal interactions, plays well in the sandbox. Again, it's a nice, happy product that works well with everything else. Okay. What's the difference between uh, phosphatidylcholine? Look at that. I said it. Um, and choline. Uh, it's, it has phosphatidyl group on it. That's what, that's how science works. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, their, their, their core is the same. You're not going to, you can get a little bit of PC from eggs and things and some of your other choline sources. The phosphatidylcholine helps it kind of att- work well as part of that, what we call a cell membrane. Mm-hmm. There's something attached to the top, there's something attached to the bottom, and that's why it's different. Okay. Um, and it work, it makes it work. That's why it works the way it does. Like, don't have to try to break it down any other way than that. Yeah, yeah. But they're, 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 they're in the same family. Okay. They're cousins. And like you said, people can't really get enough from foods, right? Like, you'd have to eat, what, just a ton of... What eggs or something to get enough? Eggs, vegetables, some other, some nuts have. Yeah, it's it's you can, um, but not you. It's usually hard. It's something you may need to get supp- you Usually need to get supplementation with. Okay, and and you know, people ask this question too. And um, what about with the weight loss? Is helping you on a cellular level? So maybe you have more energy, you burn more calories. Is that fair? This has. I mean, this is good for general health and more anti aging. Uh, it's not even, I've never even thought about using it for weight loss. Right. It's, just, it's not going to do much at all. Okay. Well, you heard it there. The, the doctor has said uh, he doesn't even use it for um, weight loss and you've got a whole plethora of other things that you can use specifically. For. Yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. There's 15, 25 things I could think of off the top of my head that are better. Okay. Dr. Paulvin, follow him on Instagram at Dr. Paulvin and doctor spelled out paulvin.com. And thanks for teaching me a long word so I can sound smart. There you go. It's all about the PC.